This is your first time here my name is Tori McPherson and on girl mm. and on this channel we talk about all things Ooh. motherhood and entrepreneurship and balancing all of these roles that we have so if that is something that interests you definitely hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you are notified every time that we post because it is weekly and we would love to have you a part of our team so i started cloth diapering when my daughter was about two months old um, the diapers that I bought said that they go from size from 10 pounds to 35 pounds I learned afterwards that you can start cloth diapering for a newborn stage all you have to do is add an extra insert maybe two if you have a really little baby put them onto Snap that onto the smallest setting. Boom, you have a diaper for your newborn. So you can definitely start at the newborn age. And also this is great for nighttime or if you have a heavy wetter. All you have to do is just add that extra insert inside, um, right on top. And you are all good for nighttime, long time use heavy wetters, etc. So I chose pocket diapers. And the reason I chose pocket diapers was because they were super easy. All you have to do is insert the inserts into the pocket, like so, like it. Make sure it's all straight so you're not missing anything. And voila! you have a diaper that is ready to catch <laughs> so these i use the brand nora's nursery um, because i really like the integrity of these diapers and they have some really really cute prints we have about 35 of them and these 35 diapers will last us for the lifetime of cloth diapering um, instead of the 3600 diapers that the average baby will use um, for disposables. Also, the diapers that our parents use are still in the landfills and haven't broken down yet. So cloth diapering is great for the environment, it's great for our pockets. I spent maybe around $300 on this stash. Um, and that is compared to, and that's going to last us for the lifetime of diapering. And that's compared to maybe around $1,500 that people spend in a year on disposable diapers, which averages out to around 50 bucks or 100 bucks in one month. So over the lifetime of diapering, it definitely saves you money. Also, these cloth diapers have resale value. So whenever I want to switch up my prints or just need something new, I can just sell the ones that I'm bored of and get some new ones. So that is a great way to get started if you don't want to make that commitment. Um, all you need to do is, there's different apps, Macari, um, Facebook Marketplace, etc where people are reselling their cloth diapers. So you can just get those and just do a trial for yourself. On the go, we use these wet bags. So they have two pockets, both waterproof from each other, one smaller inside pocket and one big pocket. 
Each pocket holds about seven diapers each, so you could use this as your diaper bag. Just put in your wipes, put in your diaper cream, maybe an extra change of clothes, and just go. And also you can use the smaller pocket for the dirty diapers, switch it up depending on, you know, if you're if you're running out for a long time, etc. Or also you could just bring a whole nother bag um, and that is a good way to keep your dirties and your cleans separated. I also use these wet bags in the house. I just hang it on the door. I have one in my room and my daughter's room where I normally change our, her diapers. And then when it's wash day, I just take them out and put them in the washing machine straight from here. So it's perfect. Um, speaking of washing, I'll get into my wash routine. I wash maybe about every week and a half. My daughter goes through about um, maybe five to seven diapers in a day, depending. Um, and I try to, I normally wait until she's down to like her last two diapers to start the wash cycle, just so I can get the washing machine full and kind of save some water, reduce, reduce our water costs as well. And I start off by taking out the insert, separating the insert from the shell, and just dumping it right in the washing machine. My daughter is still exclusively breastfed, so I don't have to worry about the solid poop. But if your baby has the solid poop, all you have to do, just same thing, take out the insert, Put the solid poop into your toilet and then you can just dump them right into the washing machine from there. Also another thing people do is have a toilet sprayer that they attach to their toilet and that way you can um, do like a pre-wash right in your toilet. It's really simple. We don't have one of those. If I wanted to pre-wash, I just have the sink. I turn on a book, turn on some music and just kind of zone out and get it done. So our wash routine. Da -da 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 -da. So on wash day, like I said, I just take the insert out, dump these right into the washing machine. Then I start them on cold water for two, two or three pre-wash cycles. Um, just to get off all of the soil that is on there and then I start with the heavy wash in cold water as well. Cold water is very important because it allows you to not create any stains on your diaper. Also, the sun is a great stain remover so if you do have any after you're done with all of your washing, you just hang them to dry in the sun. That also saves the integrity of the elasticity. So if it's warm where you are, you could definitely use that as an option. I do in the summertime just to keep our um, energy costs low as well. So after the two washes on cold water on heavy, then I do a hot water wash as more of a disinfectant type of wash. This last wash, I generally don't use any more soap um, just to reduce the soap buildup that could happen. For detergents, I use Tide Free and Clear. I've used the powder and I use the liquid. Just depends on what I have in the house. Um, and we've used that from the beginning of our diapering experience. And I enjoy that one. I think it does a, a really good job. After that, we just put them into the dryer right now because it's winter time and we wash them on we dry them on low and that's just to help the integrity of the elastics which help keep all of the pee and everything trapped in so you don't have to worry about leaks if you guys have any more questions about cloth diapering i would love to make a part two about this just leave your questions in the comments down below and I could definitely address those for you 
Once again, if you enjoy this video, I would love if you press subscribe and you hit that little bell so you get notified every time that we post. I hope that you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Remember you are loved and you are worthy. You are the perfect parent for your child. Have a great day and I hope to see you again next week. Bye!